In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install the MSX emulator on RetroPie. So this RetroPie is being run on a Raspberry Pi 3 B plus single board computer. So the first thing you do is you just go into RetroPie like here. And the next thing you do is you go to RetroPie setup. And you have to install the emulator first. Go to, um, I think it's Manage Packages. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's this one. I think it's Optional Packages. Here you have to install the MSX emulator. called Blue MSX, I already installed it. Go in here. So you just install this from binary. I already installed it, as you can see. It's gonna take a couple of minutes for you to get that installed. So after you finish, just go back, back again. Back. You could prefer perform a reboot. This will um, let you see the emulator, basically. So now I'm going to go back to my computer and connect to RetroPie. Okay. Okay, now I'm back on my PC. So, uh, you could download the BIOS pack here on this URL. I'll leave it in the video description below so you could get to this site and download it. And these are the instructions on how you can put the BIOSes in your... Um, RetroPie. There's one for blue MSX and open MSX. Okay, so let's get started. So let's say I downloaded that file. Just click on that and download it. It's going to take a couple of minutes because it's such a big file. And what I'm going to do now is that's my RetroPie. So I connect it to the RetroPie. And I'm going to go to the file that I downloaded, which is here. Gonna get all the MSX files. Go to BIOS. I'm gonna make a folder called Open MSX. like so and put all the MSX files in there As a matter of fact I'm just gonna put it I'm gonna make a folder here called MSX dump all those files in there Okay, I think those are all the MSX files. I'm gonna dump all of that into OpenMSX. I'm I'm also gonna dump it in here. 
to the bio section. I already did, so in those two areas. And the next thing I want to do is I want to go to ROMs. And I want to create a folder called MSX, which I already did. Just create a folder called MSX. Just go to new and create a folder. And then just dump all your ROMs in there. You could download ROMs from here, or you could go to go to my abandonware and download MSX files from here as well. Platform, go to MSX. Download games here and put it in there. You get MSX2 games here. These are in Russian. You could speak Russian, then you can download it. Okay, so you could find the ROMs and just dump it in there. So I dumped all the ROMs in here for me, this MSX folder. And that's pretty much it. And all I have to do is go back to my um, RetroPie and restart it, and I should be able to see all the ROMs in there. Okay, so see you there. Okay, now I'm back to RetroPie for my uh, PC. So um, the ROMs I put in there into the MXS, MSX ROMs folder should be in there. So for MSX, you could run zip files. You could run the ROMs in zip files. So I'm going to go in here and run some games. I'm going to run 1942. You don't have to configure the controls they should just work if, if you configure your controls already they should just work you could press A start the game you use a d-pad to just move move about Okay, so I'm gonna exit out of here. That's all you do. You just you can run the games 
just like that. I'm gonna play another game, maybe play Pac-Man or something. Okay, um, yeah, that's how you get it to run. That's pretty much it. It's not that difficult. So if you have any questions, you could leave them in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.